just want to give a big thank you to our sponsors at Comica on Amazon.com. They sent us this product, um, and we're going to unwrap it and review it for them and give our initial thoughts. This is the Comica microphone for smartphone, iOS, Android, Samsung kit. The Comica Professional Audio Equipment CVM VM10-K2 Multifunction Smartphone Clamp Microphone Video Grip Kit. And it says for smartphone and it has the scanner. If you want to scan this icon, this barcode at the top right, just take a screenshot of the video and zoom in. The Comica logo is a trademark which is registered and owned by Comica Technology Company LTD. And I gotta say, I love love the box. I love this design on the box. I think the box is beautiful. They always have nice designs on their boxes. And it says Comica Professional Audio Equipment Super Cardioid. That is what the microphone is. It's a Super Cardioid mic. It's small and lightweight, supports iOS and Android phones, easy to install, flexible combination, CNC processing technology, and video kit. And this is what it looks like. I'll get a picture of it uh, from their from their listing so you can see it better. And I will say these microphones are not compatible with every Android phone. Uh, my Android phone does not accept external microphones for some reason. Even though it's the ZTE Z Max Pro, it doesn't accept external microphones for some reason. Um, it's usually like what they have in their listing. Samsung, Huey. Apple, um, iPhone, things like that. I know Apple and iPhone are the same thing. Uh, b uh, but it will work with almost probably every Samsung uh, phone there is because they accept external microphones. As many people know, they accept them. And I love how they have such a unique creature on the back. It looks like an ancient millipede or centipede. And it says, Main features, combine audio and video together, provide a better shooting experience. Exquisite filming suite. Complete functions are versatile handheld smartphone clamp, which would be this, the pistol grip. Full video capture. Professional microphone cardioid pattern. A cardioid is a shotgun. It records things directly in front of it and muffles out the side. So you have to have this. It's like a V-log microphone or a dialogue microphone. When pe people are having a conversation, you have to turn your phone towards whoever talking and have it aimed as close to their mouth as possible to get the clearest audio. The bottom one-fourth external screw port for extended connection. So you can add lights to it if you have a, a, a clamp for lights. Uh, another microphone if you need another microphone. Uh, a scanner. Um, an external screen, external monitor so you can monitor your video. And CNC processing, solid and durable. Let us open this... And you are set. You've got everything you will ever need. Let's test it out. I brought with me the Samsung Galaxy S5 and we also have a Samsung Galaxy S6 as well. And I will do a test before the microphone and then after the microphone and see exactly how big of a difference there is. Okay, so this is the built-in microphone on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Um, and I got the light on, and it, as you can tell from the Canon video, it looks amazing. I don't know how the Galaxy S5 microphone sounds because I've never really filmed video that I've used with it. Um, but the setup, it looks really, you know, cute. And I'm doing like a 360. It looks like a really, really cute setup. You got the cool tripod they give you. You can use it as like Jake Paul or Logan Paul's uh, selfie cam. You got the cute little microphone. It is phantom powered. Um, so if you are going to use it with a DSLR, you have to have a, 
a, a Phantom Power enabled DSLR such as the Canon Rebel T5i, T3i, T4i, T6i. It has to have an I at the end or an external power source for this to sync it up later. But it does look extremely cute. Um, the tripod is a, a tilt a ball joint and then you let go of the button and it just stays there. Um, but yeah, this is the microphone on the Galaxy S5. Let's hear what it sounds like with the Comica. All right, now it is recording with the Comica microphone on the Galaxy S5. It says uh, on the screen, now using earphone microphone. It's called an earphone microphone, even though it's not. It's a cardioid microphone, but the phones don't really know that. They should by now know when they're an external microphone. Uh, again, with the shotgun microphone, you are going to run into um, issues where when you pan away, if someone's still talking, it's going to muffle out slightly. And unless you have, like, reflective walls, it is going to muffle out. And then once you move it slowly back around, you are going to notice that it goes back to being Super HD. Uh, from right here, as you can see, an arm's distance away, this is, like, the perfect place for a... Um, a shotgun cardio and microphone the wind muff always protects it it protects you from a lot of wind it's not going to stop all the wind but it will stop like a um, small burst of wind if you get really close if you don't have a pop filter i think you're gonna hear P -p pizza popping pepperoni it's gonna like do and then the b word b word it's gonna pop on your peaks and bees but that's why you have the dead cat the dead cat we're gonna do a test outside with and without the dead cat uh, they're made for preventing even more wind. They do muffle audio just a tiny bit, and sometimes the hairs do scratch up on the mic when there's a lot of wind, and you're like a little, it's barely noticeable though. But yeah, I'm, I'm so far in love with this microphone, and the outside test, I'm actually going to use the tripod rather than hold it with a tripod. I'm going to actually use the tripod and have it aimed at me, because it's really windy outside today, conveniently, it's really windy. So I hope there's a difference that you can tell on the inside test and on the outside. If you hear an extra noise, I do have a light set up, and it is a big light, and that's why it's so bright. It is because that it's making a uh, sound like this. That's the sound that that light's making, and I am having it like kind of angled towards it. So... That's probably what you're hearing. Please don't judge the microphone based on that if you hear that. Let's go outside. And here it is with the microphone not plugged in. This is the built-in Samsung Galaxy S5 microphone outside. Uh, the wind is coming and going. I'm going to wait for a little bit of a wind to pick up. Here's a tiny bit. Not too much, but here it is with dead silence. We're not really getting too much wind being picked up right now. As you can tell by the trees, it's not blowing too much right now, but it was earlier. So I'm going to go get the dead cat, and I'm going to do that as well. And I might, might do that T5i test. I'm really thinking that I will. This is the Komika microphone outside on the tripod. Uh, the light is kicked on just because I like lighting. And it is windy. You can see the, the leaves behind me. Um, this is without the dead cat. I'll do one with the dead cat on. And you won't hear too much of a difference, but the wind is now blowing directly towards me, so it's hitting the microphone as well. And I'm gonna do a test also of the phone without the microphone connected again, just to be fair. Um, I know that without the microphone connected, it captures sound pretty much. It's like an omnidirectional with noise reduction. Uh, with the microphone, it's shotgun right at your mouth, right at the speaker's face, somewhere around there. And uh, and I think, honestly, if you're getting this for a DSLR as well, I might be able to do a test of that too, depending on how much power my Canon T5i battery has. And uh, yeah, so this is a test with the wind muff on but not the dead cat here's some wind this is with the dead cat on one thing i noticed is that i could not get it to fit on with the original wind muff and now the wind is really blowing uh so that's that's something you need to take into consideration so you can't do two layer a lot of people don't do two layer uh, some people do where you have 
the black wind muff and then the dead cat on uh, the furry wind muff whatever you want to call it I call it a dead cat even though it's not what it's called um, that's a brand of people that make them but Komika have great great furry wind muffs and they're like really really solid and stuff now what you want to do when you have like the wind muff is you do not want to pull on it too hard because the the furs and fibers will start up uh, coming off and coming apart um, but that's okay that you can't have the two layer that's fine because I gotta say this hair is super thick and oh man it's just can you hear that you can do ASMR with this microphone if you want to whispering and tapping just don't tap it too hard and here it is with silence and winds blowing. Did it pick up that car driving by? Let's try and do the T5i test. Tried to plug it into my Canon Rebel T5i, and it did not. It did not work. Um, I unplugged it, replugged it in, and my T5i does support phantom power and plug-in power, and this would not work with it. Other microphones do work with it, uh, but like I said, it may or may not work. It might be the cord that this comes with that's not compatible with my brand of DSLR or my model. But now I'm doing a walk-around test, and there are leaves, and I don't know if you can hear them. And this is with the Comica cardioid microphone holding the tripod as well, just to see, because there's a, more wind coming now, and I do have the wind muff on it. Um, so if you have a T5i, it most likely won't work with it unless you get some kind of converter cable, or maybe this microphone is just not uh, compatible with that brand since my T5i came out like 2013, 2014, something like that. But... Um, yeah, so this is the sound test, and then here we go, closer towards the leaves. Wind's blowing again. Tell us your thoughts. What do you think? Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Let us know. Here's the wind. Did you hear any wind? Like hit it go like that noise? I don't know. Do you think it's worth it? I think it's worth it. So you should definitely click on the link in the description and buy this and do your own tests. Keep it, use it. It is great for people that do vlogs, um, makeup tutorials arts and crafts tutorials, family videos, interviews, documentaries. If you're on a budget, you need a microphone like this because I heard a big difference when I listened to some of the other clips played back. I heard a big difference. This makes it more full. It makes it sound like this, really HD. Instead of the, the built-in microphone that sounds like this, like you're really far away and that's capturing everything, this makes it sound much more compact because that's what cardioid shotgun microphones do. I'm Ross from History and Reviews and I've got to go home.